Welcome back everyone, Hardyman here, back for another episode of Modded Banished. And last episode, what did we do? I think we, well, let me click down here. Let's see here, yeah, we uh, we started clearing out this area that we're going to have for our farming slash uh, orchard slash agricultural like hub type area. Uh, and we put down this dense orchard for peaches, this other crop field, and I guess did... Uh, Whatever. Uh, put out the roads. I don't think they've actually built these, have they? No, they're they're not the same, whatever vibrant brownish color as the other ones. So uh, they're they're probably coming over here to build them right now. But we got that in. We got the uh, the tree stuff over here taken away. Now we just gotta do uh, I guess these rocks and I don't think is there any iron. I think it's just stone. Yeah, I may have also done sto uh, iron and trees. I can't remember. It's been a while. But looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. So, probably going to keep on doing that. Keep on putting uh, more of these crop fields over here, orchard, stuff like that. So, we can hopefully uh, get some stuff moved over today. So, without further ado, let's get everyone to move around so we can actually, you know, get that done. And apparently that's all that they're going to do. Just a, just a couple of smacks, just one thing at a time. Great job, guys. Great job. All right, so let's see here. We upgraded all these houses, and they all have at least one child in them, so that's pretty good. So they'll probably have, you know, maybe one more uh, for at least some of them. And maybe for some of these other ones that are older, hopefully we can get them out of the house uh, relatively soon as well. So that they can have their own families. But let's go down here and see what this person has to offer. Andrew the Hauler has iron ore, stone, and logs. Uh, hmm. I mean, maybe stone? I don't know. I, I can't remember. I think, well, our stone, our small stone quarry has... I think it's met its limit and we would have to upgrade it, right? Which I think would take me reactivating the, the channelly over there, so maybe stone. Um I mean logs right now are doing pretty good. It's same with uh firewood, so I don't know, maybe some of those. But of, of course this guy doesn't take peas and watermelons, right? Well golly guy. Um yeah, I guess I really don't need it. If you took peas and watermelons, I could give you so much of those. But, unfortunately, thanks, but no thanks. Alright, so back up here. So, let's see here. They, did they get finished? No, I think there's one right there, at least. There we go. Okay, so, no one to do that one. But we got people for those, so... Am I just out of... Oh, yeah, I'm out of farmers. I don't have the 45 required farmers for up here. Uh, or to reach all the way up here, so... Oh, wow. Holy moly. We have a lot of children being born. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven children were born this past winter. That's a lot of children. Uh, th that's basically a bubble within itself. Good night. Okay. Well, I guess they I guess they could die, maybe. I don't know. Maybe some of them will starve to death. We'll see. But, uh, hopefully it doesn't happen. Uh, so let's see here. That's looking pretty good up there. I don't know. I guess we could probably get rid of these. Like, down here. Um. Pro uh, probably won't do it next winter, because they've already started planting, right? So... The next best thing we could probably do is, I don't know, add more houses up there. So we can maybe, like, move these guys. Because that's the only thing I could think of. Because, uh, yeah, that, that would be, you know, getting one step ahead. Also, I, well, I, I guess they don't, like, automatically move up there anyway. So probably would be the best thing. Uh, so let's see here. Food production. I will also go ahead and make this a dense orchard over here. Oh, I can't do it right there. So I gotta go one in. And I can't do it all the way over there. Well, 
Where's that raise tool? There we go. Flatten. I think it's right there. And... Oh, wrong thing. There we go. Uh, hold on one second with your uh, nomadicness. And let's see... There we go. So do I want to... I probably want to keep a road right there. So let's, let's do that. And build a little path in between it. And this crop field. Alright, so let's go look at these guys. What do they want? So there's seven of them wanting to come in. Um, wow, we actually have over a hundred people total. We have 96 adults and 36 children. So yeah, I think we're rebounding right now. So I guess that's kind of good. But I don't know if we really need a lot more people right now. Because like I said, we have 36 children who are going to become adults sometime in the near future probably so that's this is just more mouth to feed than we really need so i think i'm going to deny you uh so let's see we probably also need to get a clergyman up and running there so i mean hopefully get some happiness near the max because i'm assuming this is still oh no it's it's gone down by four graves so I won't. I, I kind of don't want to know what happened to the other, the the four people that were in, like interred there. Maybe they just like you know, someone else just left. I I, I really don't know. Maybe they're getting washed away. I, I speculation at this point. But uh, so yeah, we're trying. Oh yeah, we're trying to get those people houses up here. But I got sidetracked with this and yeah. Just so much sidetrackiness. So let's say put this as apples, and yeah, it's just not, it's just not gonna be worked for right now. So let's see here. That I guess we could put maybe a house right there. A little tiny shack. Oh, so close to having two. Maybe yeah, one right there. Rotate it. Can I do... Nope, I can only do it right there. So let's try that train thing again. Oh, there we go. Raise that and remove that structure. And place one of these guys down. Oh, there we go. Alright, so we got two tiny shacks right there. Let's see what a shellus has for us. More seeds. Again, you don't take... My peas and watermelons. It's very difficult for me to get to 4,000 cost without you taking some of my food. Just saying. Because uh, I, I, I've stopped the lumber mill. I've stopped the chandelier. I think, yeah, the weaver has stopped making silk. So, basically, all we have right now is food to give people. So, maybe come back whenever you want some food. Just saying. Just saying. All right, so let's go back up here. We have, yeah, we have five builders, so that, yeah, it should be bringing stuff over here. I mean, we have 13 laborers as well, so they should be uh, doing some good stuff. Can I go? Yeah, I can't actually go ahead and upgrade it, so I'm thinking basically as soon as it's done, upgrade it. Because there's not going to be any storage in there, so it should be a little bit better. So, upgrade. That way no one gets kicked out. Although, apparently, someone was able to get into one of those houses. Unfortunately. So, hopefully, they'll, they'll be able to find somewhere to sleep this uh, winter. Because, if not, they may uh, may die. Or, unless these uh, get done again. I don't know. Because we have, yeah, we have enough for them. They just need to actually do them. Okay, so let's see here. Now that winter's come, let us come down here. And... Oh, auto-saving. And get rid of these structures. And get rid of this. Which I assume... Wait. Is it already going to be get, gotten rid of? Getting rid of? Oh, wait. It did. It just left the trees there, so I have to chop them down. Is that right? Maybe? No? 
I don't know what happened then. I'm so confused. Alright, well, those uh, four are gone, and this orchard's gone, so we'll see what happens. Uh, so let's see. Do I want to move these up there next? I mean, I think it may make sense. Uh, how many more? Let's let's do the crop field like number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, like thirteen ish. More crop fields that we need to have down. So let's look up here and see how much room we have. Yeah, we should have enough for those. Uh, cause I mean, keep going down here. That's probably like five on either side. So, we should be good. Uh, I mean, I guess I could go ahead and lay that out. Let's go to about right there. There we go. Are they building anything? No, they've already made these into uh, tiny houses. So, got two young couples there. Pretty good stuff. Are they... Oh, they're not done by that. Ugh. I wonder if they would still go there though. I did not consider that whenever I put them down. Well, we'll see, we'll see. I may, is there like a smaller, like market? I guess that's the, that's the only small market there. Uh, let's see here. Is that only food though? Collect edible food only. From a localized area of food, clothing, tools, materials, and fuel. How small is that? Not small whatsoever. Not small whatsoever. Uh, let's see here. Central market's pretty large. And then each of these are basically one thing each. So, not really what we need. Well... Yeah, I may have to do another one kind of on this side or something like that. So, hopefully they survive. What do we got here? We got Camlet the Goods Importer with a lot of food stuffs. And guess what? Takes food. Surprise, surprise. But I don't know if I want to trade food for food. I mean, I guess it would theoretically, uh, you know, diversify the diet of these people. So, maybe... Just, just for uh, you know, that sake, the RP's sake. Um, so, I'm sure, why not? Let's go a thousand, a thousand, and let's see here. Let's do fish. Although we, oh no, wait, I got, I got, I got rid of the fish, didn't I? So I guess we technically don't have fish. But they had fish before. Let's get something exotic. Let's go whale meat, which is interesting that it's one cost, since you would assume that to get a whale takes a lot of work. And I want it some seaweed, so let's trade that. And uh, thank you very much for that, you know, exotic food, Camlet. All right, so let's go back up here. Look at this road, which it looks like they finished it, so that's good. And what what did we say? Thirteen we needed. So let's see here. It's eighteen or fifteen by eighteen. So or fifteen by eight. Wow, words. So there's one, two, three, uh, uh four. Five and a six. Oh, there we go. Six. Okay. So there are those. That is approximately half of the 13 that we need. So, yeah, we probably have enough room for about two more. So, on each side. So, getting pretty close. Probably one or two more down here. And, I mean,. There was a assortment of smaller ones in there. They weren't all, I don't, I don't think, the exact uh, 15 by 8 that we had been setting up. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's here or there, whatever. It's close, uh, is what I'm trying to say. So let's go ahead and put these crossroads in as well. And, see here, where's it at? There it is. 
All right. So, yeah, I guess we just gotta wait for them to remove stuff, and then we can start putting in actual uh, crops. But hopefully, it comes before the end of winter, because I'll probably be cutting down or cutting down. I don't know what, what do you what do you do to a field to make it not a field anymore? Unplow it? I, I, I'm I don't know the terminology, but uh, hopefully. Whenever they get done with this, I'll be able to do that to at least a few of them. Well, six exactly. So, let's see here. Are you? I don't know what I don't know what you're doing, man. I I, I, I seriously have no idea because I can't I can't chop it down. I'm pretty sure. I, well, I guess I could like build something there. I guess I'll cut them down, but I can't actually chop down the trees so that's unfortunate well can I remove resources I can aha sure why not remove those resources so apparently they're not trees they're resources which is an interesting uh, distinction all right so let's see here Hermain the baker resupplier uh, has a lot of stuff for us um, most of it baking related see here tinned soup which is interesting but let's see here sugar cookies may do that who doesn't love a, a good sugar cookie and uh, mm, I don't know rice maybe I guess maybe rice you could just eat by yourself or well, I mean by itself I guess also by yourself if you live alone in in this world so let's go with that as our two to kind of mix up our peas and watermelon pie, I guess. I don't, I, I don't know. There you go. Thank you very much, Hermain. Or Herman, whatever you want to call him. I don't know. They, uh, I don't think they have a, you know, text of speech in this yet, so. Don't know. I'm just going off what, what I assume his uh, name is. All right, it looks like they're just letting all that stuff uh, rot away, so unfortunately. But let's see if they have these. Nope, they do not have these cleared yet. Uh, they started clearing that one a little bit, but not the rest of these. Wait, is this thing over here full? This, uh, no, the stockpile over here is not full. It does have a lot of wood, or logs and stone. Just none of it, uh, none of it, I guess, those stones, or maybe those stones, I don't know. I guess probably those stones, I would assume, but none of the ones that are still there. My 30 laborers who are apparently just not doing anything. I don't know, is this a activity that I can increase the priority of, maybe? There we go. Now we're getting people into it. Cause like I said, I, I kind of want these hopefully done before uh, winter ends. And it's already late winter, so let's see here. Let us get rid of one, two, three, four, uh, five, six. Hopefully that's good. And hopefully they get done with those uh, six up here. Because if not, we are going to have some food shortages. Come on. Oop, it is it's getting less snowy. Oh, it's early spring. So we, we, it looks like we're going to be uh, down a few farms. Taking forever to, to get this stuff out of here. There's one more for this one. Come on. Just pick it up is basically all you need to do, right? I don't know. It's very confusing. But it looks like uh, we have 30 farmers for the 26 uh, slots that we need, so it looks like they are actually going to be planting peach and apple seeds over here. So that's cool. Hey, there's one. Uh, let's see here. Let's go watermelon... Uh, peas and, I guess, peas? Maybe. We'll see. 
All right, so what we got over here? Oh, it's, wow, Herman again. Apparently he's like, hey, I heard you like rice and sugar cookies. I brought you a lot of those. Uh, well, I guess I'll take a little bit more. There we go. And a thousand there and one thousand there. Thank you once again. Uh, if only you had the stuff that we actually need that is not food, then it would be great. But whatever. Uh, let's go ahead get that away and go back up here and see if they got any more. They did. Let's see. This one needs to be watermelons. That's P. Yeah. Peas, watermelons. I'm going to do watermelon peas, watermelons. Just do it on the opposite stuff because this is wheat and hemp. So... I mean, can't eat that, but it's going to be used for uh, fuel to hopefully help us with not having to use so much of our logs. So, watermelon, watermelon. Uh, let's see here. Probably could actually get this back up to that. Oh, no, because it's two each, right? Oh, yeah, we need to keep these at two each as well. So, we don't have wasted people. Uh, let's go there. Put you down to two. And put you down to two. Oh, we're very close. Uh, just need one more. There we go. Full amount of farmers uh, that we need, so that's good there. And what is also good is this episode, because it's gone over by a couple minutes, or about to be a couple minutes. So I think I'm going to go ahead and call it there for today, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like. If you have any comments, leave those down below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, you may want to think about doing that. Just saying. Just saying. Think about it. Uh, but still looking pretty good. We got a lot of laborers back, so that's good. And the only thing that is kind of bad is that our food situation is going down. But, I mean, that's kind of to be expected since I'm trying to move stuff uh, away from down here and up to where we don't really have any houses yet. Uh, for people to live in nearby. Uh, I guess probably, what are these houses? Farmers, farmers, builders. Yeah, so we're, we gotta, we gotta probably get some more houses in here, uh, to help cut down on the, the time that it takes for people to get up here to actually farm, because, what is this? Yeah, that's definitely not the 38 that we have for farming, so they have to, they have to, you know, make a trek. Which we don't want them to do that. Because that takes up valuable resource gathering time. So hopefully going to get that accomplished next episode. So stay tuned for that. But I'm going to stop rambling. End off the episode here. So again, hopefully enjoyed. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I will talk to you next time. Bye bye.